Hello everyone, welcome to this beautiful episode. Today I'm going to be sharing my experience with regards to the new CompTIA Security Plus XY601 and I'm going to be sharing tips and some ideas for those of you guys that are still looking to pass the uh, CompTIA Security Plus, the new one, the XY601. I'm currently here sitting with this ice bike the security plus from comptia is really uh i want to say powerful with regards to the different uh areas and subjects matters that are to be uh, put into consideration areas such as uh physical security uh threats attacks you know uh, port numbers uh, networking there's a whole lot that is composed inside the CompTIA security plus which is a reason why it is uh, a very powerful uh, certification but at the same time uh, for those people that already have the computer security plus might not consider it powerful anymore simply because they already passed that stage but for those people that are still trying to have it in their you know resume that is a good certification that is considered powerful well uh i passed my computer security plus xy601 and it's the new one from computer and recently passed it and i was uh was decided you know to share a little bit of the experience uh i never really thought i was gonna pass it because i had studied a lot and put a whole lot of my time and i took the exam before which i previously failed it and uh the one that i passed was like the funny the funny aspect was this current one the xy601 a lot of people are saying that the xy601 is far more difficult than the 501 which the 501 is the previous version uh i want to correct that 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 phrase i want to correct that phrase that is not true at all because i i sat for the five 501 because i started with the 501 and my experience from the 501 compared with the 601 the 601 is a lot easier it's a lot easier i'm telling you guys the honest truth the 501 was so complicated it was all over the place the uh, wording the uh, technical uh, ability to understand what they were trying to portray unless you are so experienced with cyber security information security like all areas of the computer security plus then the 501 will be a lot you know uh compatible with you but other than that i sat for the 501 and i also recently passed the x the new one which is the 601 and if i was to compare or perhaps if i was to give my honest opinion the 601 from my own standpoint of view the 601 it's a lot easier it's a lot easier i was able to go through the 601 really fast compared to what i did in the 501 uh i um passed it on the i'm not gonna give you guys a date but i just passed it recently and um i took the 601 twice uh the first one because i bought the voucher that was you know that is supposed to give you double tries and the first 601 i had a score of um 700 and 727 out of you need the 750 to pass you need the 750 to pass but you can score higher than that if you want but the 750 is the passing is the passing mark that you need as a passing score so my first 601 that i sat for that was before christmas i scored 720 27 727 
So that means I just needed 23 scores more to pass. And I was so pissed. But I wasn't really angry like that. I was happy because then, at that time, that was my first time writing and sitting for the 601 because I previously sat for the 501. And then I was kind of happy after I saw my score for the 601, 727, and I needed 23 scores more to pass. And and I was excited. And then I sat to myself and I was like, wait a minute. I was like, the, the 601 is, is kind of a little bit easier compared to what people were saying. Because a lot of people on YouTube were talking about how difficult the 601 is. And me, I was like, put everything into a proportion and try to analyze. And I was like, the 601, it's a lot easier. And I was excited. That really gave me the confidence and the hope that the 601 is not as difficult compared to what people were saying on YouTube and those professionals talking about how you have to be so technical. For me, personally, the 501 was a lot, like, you know, like difficult. So, my 601, the first time I sat for it, like I said, I scored 727 and I needed 23 scores more to pass. And what actually happened was that the internet kept tripping off. I would have passed it. I would have passed it. I lost four minutes of my time. So what happened was... CompTIA would shut the exam out. They would tell me that my internet is off. They cannot see my camera and they will freeze the exam. And even while they did that, my time was counting. And then when they put me back on, I already lost a minute. They did it like three times. And all three times, I ended up losing like four minutes. But I, I was still able to go through the entire exam. And the PBQs, I... I did the PBQs and then the score came out. It was seven, 27 out of 750 and I needed 23 scores more to pass. And I was happy, but at the same time, I was sad. I was like, if it wasn't for the fact that the four minutes time that I was wasting, the time they didn't, they didn't give me back the four minutes. If, I, if they had given me back that time that I wasted, I could have passed it the first time. Then I was like, okay, I'm going to take it the second time. And then two weeks after, two weeks after, after Christmas, so I, I took it and I passed it, you know. So I passed it. And uh, so my experience, if I was to compare 601 to 501, I would tell you guys out there, the 601 is a lot more direct. A lot of people would say it wasn't direct, but that's a lie. The 601 is a, lo a lot more direct and it's more uh, compatible with everything that the CompTIA uh, guideline to pass the security plus exam is talking about. So, but that is not to say that just because I said it is more direct or just because I said it is a lot easier compared to the 501 doesn't mean that you shouldn't study. I studied a lot. I did a lot of research notes I was writing a whole lot of notes if i show you guys my notes like you wouldn't believe it i wrote a whole like <laughs> like you know me jotting down my own notes reading everything and jotting my own i did a lot in practice questions did a lot of practice questions and i must recommend professor mercer to you guys professor mercer is on youtube he's really good i wrote down his i think he has up, up to about 200 videos from the 501 and also the 601 I wrote down every word for word <laughs> you wouldn't believe it I did I wrote down everything studied you know practice questions and uh, and I just want to say that some of the books that you buy from Amazon that is supposed to help you pass the security plus exam those books some some of them are just a waste of money I bought a really uh, I bought a book that was supposed to help part and I finished that book I read it I finished everything but that book was a waste of time you know Professor Mercer really helped I can tell you guys for a fact everything that Professor Mercer was teaching uh, yeah I, I give him uh, I give him a 10 on that you know so Professor Mercer is really good so you guys you can check out Professor Mercer on YouTube 
check him out pay attention to the videos if you can do what i did write down uh everything that he's teaching you're not going to write it down you won't be able to write everything down in one day it might take you two weeks you know i think in my case he did you know watch the videos every day write down practice questions and that is not to say you shouldn't read test books you know look for a really good test book i cannot really recommend you guys i cannot recommend a test book for now because when i was taking the 501 there was this big test book i bought from amazon i finished that book and yet i still failed i was like what but after i discovered professor mercer on youtube man my my ability improved everything improved everything was direct you know everything was just uh it was just so compatible you know and then i was taking out my notes and, and for the most part i was doing a lot of practice uh questions that really helped me so for you guys that are still looking to pass it i will tell you guys to um be patient be uh be uh ready to you know to feel good you know whenever you're trying to take the exam don't always have this anxiety don't always have this fear you know always have the confidence because confidence is number one to pass it because that exam i can tell you is hard it's hard if you if you don't know what you're doing me passing it now and i almost passed it the 601 what i just told you guys when i said the computer was stripping off and i lost four minutes uh i would have passed it then if it wasn't for the time they you know they took away but the second time i took it like two weeks after i passed it so now i have every now i can look at the exam and i can just laugh i can just laugh you know so that's just that's how it is you have to build your confidence and then study make sure you you finish the entire material make sure you finish everything before signing up for the exam because i can say the exam can be difficult if you are not well prepared yes yes but it can be very easy for you if you already have preparations in place so uh hope you guys would enjoy this episode place your comments in the section below let me know what you think and uh like comment and i'll see you guys in the next one and i'll probably give you guys updates with regards to you know the cyber security career and everything thank you guys stay blessed